Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of d Ray's Garage where today we're gonna to take the SL55 AMG 2004 vintage and we're gonna do an oil change. And I'm doing that partially because I'm doing the valve cover gaskets just because there's the tiniest of tiny leaks on the top and um, they sometimes suggest to lower the oil level. Well, I'm gonna lower it completely and put the fresh stuff in it. New filter, new plug, new crush washer. And then uh, this one has quite a few uh, O-rings, so I'll be mindful of that when I'm taking out the oil filter housing and uh, how that all goes back together. This was sent to me all by FCP Euro, except for that, um, on their oil filter change kit, and they have got this, whatever that number is, E11HO2 D155 in Hengst. You know, choose your brand of choice, just make sure it's the right size. So yeah, this is the oil change, pretty straightforward stuff, you may have seen it before. Hopefully I can give you some better angles. Okay, so we've got the belly pan off. Sorry about the shakiness, but we're going freehand underneath. And we'll take a look. Oh, we're at There's a host of eight mil. Uh, little screw things there, as you can see in that pot, hopefully, and three separate compartments. What you'll see shortly, um, you can see hopefully on those black rings over there, and I'll take it closer. You do have some kind of leak, so definitely want to get with that, probably from the valve covers. So good we're taking care of that today. We're going to uh, get to, this is the one of the oil drains for the regular engine oil. The other one's back here and there. So while I've got this big old mess over here, this is the rear most drain plug. And then I will let that evacuate and then I'll come up to the front most one, which is next to me and you can't really see that. Well, glad I put it over there. Thing shot out pretty good. So this one's down to a drip. I'm gonna put the new bolt and crush washer in here so I can open the other side of the tank here and empty that out. We'll get that started. And you want to talk these to spec. I'll put the spec on the screen because it's not in my head. I'm gonna assume it's low 20 foot pounds, maybe 30 newton meters. Oh, put snug, we'll get it done if you're a bolt mechanic. I just want to feel that. For me, I just like to feel the crush washer, cinch up, and everything feels snug there. All right, we're going to move over to this one. All right, yeah. So this second one, not quite as rambunctious because a lot of the oil has already made it into the pan down here, FCP, so, all right. And lots of thread on this, which I like. And you're getting it good and seated in there. So I'm gonna loosen the cap here so we can Get better flow down below. And then I'm gonna try and take this off. I don't have the exact fuel, I'm uh, oh, sorry, oil housing removal tool. So I'm gonna try this belt here. It's worked in the past. It's just getting a good grip on it can be fun sometimes. Let's try over here. Oh, what a riot. Oh, you know what? I got lucky. So this is a probably, what is it? It's a Motive Tools MX2323, but I think it's a 76 mil tool. I think I had it from my Boxster, so we're gonna do that. Okay, 
Okay. So that's the unit out. Put that over the top there while we get the new one ready. Alright, let's get this filter off of here. And then we have, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can clean this up. So shiny. So there's one, two, three, Four is that one, two, four. And how many did I get in here? Crap. One, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe I got a bonus one or maybe I'll find another one here. So let's just get these off. Used to use a small flathead. Tends to work just fine. Okay, keep the old ones away, but I don't mind these getting into the oil down here because we want them lubricated before we put them back in. I'm gonna keep that one out. And this little fell on the end. And then obviously the filter itself. Same size. Whoops. Had the drain plug in there, you don't want that. Make sure that's all on there still. And then make sure that's fully seated. Which I think these black lines, depending on which way you put it in, indicate whether or not you're fully seated. So at least in my imagination, that's how it works. So put this back on, tighten to 25 Newton meters.